I'm going to test this AT3 Red Dot Magnifier combination. This is definitely more on the budget friendly side of magnifier and Red Dot combination. I've done some testing on this and it's been accurate, it hasn't had any problems. I've only done a rough side in, but I'm going to do a drill here. It's called the craft drill. And basically, it's going to be four shots one from standing, one from kneeling, one from sitting, and one from prone. It's not a timed event, it's an accuracy type of test. So I'm going to first run it just using the red dot, see where I'm hitting, and then I'll switch over to the magnifier, see how much of a difference there is. This should be pretty fun. Let's give it a try. Right. Low. Like I said, I'm not 100% sighted in, but uh, I called my shots for where I felt like I did miss. So let's go down range and see how it is. Okay, so obviously this is not the best shooting because it's not off a bipod or bag or whatever. I did call one right, so there's that, and I did call one low. So if these had come in, it uh, would have been pretty close, but uh, overall I definitely needed to slow down and guarantee those shots more. And I'm gonna try it with the magnifier and see if there's any difference. One thing on these magnifiers, they do have these adjustments here for windage and elevation. I have not adjusted these, so we're going to just see where the group is. And I'm actually going to use the same target to make sure that uh, it's a 100% fair comparison. Upright. Low. I'll say on that last shot, I mean, to get, especially being prone to, to be able to have a clear view, my lip was really pushing into the charging handle. It actually uh, hurt pretty good on my upper lip there. So eye relief on this is definitely not that great. I'm actually uh, pretty surprised that uh, magnifier isn't sighted in perfectly. Last time the shots were one, two, three, four. And this time it's one, two, three, four. So the magnifier did make a big difference. Uh, I felt like I was able to get my shots on faster as well. I'm not sure if that was the case. It's it's an untimed event. This is just for accuracy. And it is definitely a different mentality. I'm, I'm used to shooting like a torso, a silhouette type target. And if I'm anywhere in the thoracic cavity, I can just pull the trigger. So it definitely makes me slow down, helps me increase on accuracy. That's pretty nice. So overall, that magnifier did a really good job of helping me uh, get better shots there. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit faster drill. I'm going to be using the magnifier on this one. It's going to, it might suck going prone, uh, but the, yeah, the eye relief, once again, just really, really is not that great at all. But this one's at seven shots. It's two shots from standing, two from kneeling, two from sitting, and then one headshot from prone. Still target, about 75 yards down range. So for this first one, I'm not going to be doing sprints or anything like that. So it's not going to be super high heart rate, but uh, let's have some fun with it and see how this works. Ooh, that's both right.
All right, so I'm going to step it up this time. So I'm not going to use the magnifier. Magnifier, all I have to do is grab it, pull straight back, goes back a few millimeters, rock it to the side, and it's out of the way. And then to engage it again, same thing, pull back and roll over. But I'm going to do this drill, just the red dot, and see how it goes. So we've got a 53-pound kettlebell. I'm going to hike down about 40 yards and back. So this is going to be uh, pretty challenging, and I'm sure I'm going to miss quite a bit. So let's have some fun. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. Dang, felt that one. What was my time? 33.5. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, okay, so I'm not gonna show you down range because there's too many shots on target now to distinguish which ones were mine, but I got all my hits. It was definitely a good mental workout and uh, physical workout because I had to recover each time. I had to think about each shot and then transitioning to a head shot. I'm sighted in at 50 yards, so I have to hold slightly low because my bullet's still rising. So definitely like that drill. The red dot itself, I really, really love. On a bright day like this, it's a very, very crisp, clear dot. Even through the magnifier, it's a very crisp, clear dot. There's no striation or lines coming off the dot or anything like that. I can't see any issues with the AT3. It's, uh, it's definitely a budget type red dot. Okay, so I've got the AT3 here on my Mossberg 500. Now this Mossberg 500 specifically has uh, killed two red dots that I can remember. I think it might've been three. I normally run the SIG Romeo 5 on it, but uh, today I'm going to try this AT3 and see if it lasts. I'm going to start off with bird shot and then go to buck and slug. You got a steel target here. they are just going to have some fun with it. This hasn't been sighted in, but it looks like it's pretty close. So we'll see uh, how well it does. I'm pretty sure this is aiming pretty high. Let me just check real quick. Okay, let me uh, reload up again, and it's uh, working just fine. I just took this straight from my AR and threw it straight onto here, so didn't even sight it in. Woo, awesome. Okay, well, that handled it just fine. That was all uh, seven and a half bird shot. I uh, just put 25 rounds through it. Seemed to work pretty good. Let's uh, load up some buck. Pretty bad storm coming in. I apologize for the wind. I forgot my mic once again. Load it up completely with double off buck. Just go ahead and send it. pretty good. Now I'm definitely going to move it back and we'll do some slugs. Okay, you ready?
can't see anything wrong with it. So for the price, this thing will definitely hold its own. It's, uh, it's doing very well. The magnifier definitely, the, uh, the eye relief sucks, but as far as the red belt itself, looks like it's working great. If you found this helpful, don't forget to click the thumbs up button. I appreciate it if you subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I'll be doing other tests on other red dots and LPVOs, so make sure you're subscribed for that. Remember to be prepared, and I'll see you guys in the next video.